Hey parents out there, thanks for coming to the parents meeting. We got this video specially for you guys. We, we wanted to share it with you. We had a couple of people who just wanted to give you guys advice on how to be a better parent. I know that you guys think you've been through it all and you think that you know it all about being parents. Of course you've been there, right? We have a few people who want to just share a little advice with you. So mom, um, I just wanted to let you know that you definitely don't do enough washing clothes. I mean, I know I go through like five outfits a day, but it really isn't enough. And you really, you know, need to get on the ball with that because it's not enough. Get to cleaning right now. I love you. Hello, parents. This is Big D, uh, aka the middle school leader. And uh, I just wanted to give you some tips, you know, some pointers. The first tip is to let your kids skip school. Um, who needs an education nowadays? Uh, and the last tip is uh, if you want to, you can give all your kids uh, $20 to give to me for uh, any reason. Um, I'm sure it'll get to the youth fund somehow. Thanks. First advice I can give to my parents is show up for the meeting, mom and dad. Where are you at? I don't care that you live three hours away. It's all about commitment and it's all about me. To all the other parents, hey, I'm up. If, I could, if I could give you one pointer, one pointer, send your kids to youth group with caffeine and sugar in their system because we're sending them home that way. Louder. You gotta get close. Get close and talk it was louder. Good the first time. I know it was, but I don't have it now. I don't so I don't do it again. Get... I don't like that. Talking to your parents. Talking to my parents. What should I say? One thing that I really didn't like growing up was having to drink all of my milk. I don't like milk. I still don't like milk, except in cereal when I don't have to drink it all. Hey, mom and dad. Um, <laughs> I want to say thanks for my cell phone, but it would be really cool if I could get like sports stuff on here so I can like see all the um, things, the sport things. So you can get a sport thing on here so you can see all the things, the uh, what are they called? The scores. That would be really cool. Do you have to pay money for that? Yeah. Patty, this is a word for you from your husband. Stop using Downy. Use Snuggles. I like the little bear on the outside. Plus, it makes my clothes smell a whole lot better. Tell your parents how you feel. How do you stop Tips. it? I don't want to do it again. Hey, Mom and Dad. Uh, I just want to say thanks for everything you do. You know, you, Mom, you cook food. Dad, you take me places. You hang out with me, you know. I believe that parents um, should communicate less with their kids. See, it's fun. Uh, I just want to say, hey. If you uh, had one thing to suggest for your parents to do, what would it be? Um, probably I want a bigger allowance. Considering I have to buy everything myself, well, almost everything, you know, especially the cross gear. That's pretty expensive. Come on, we're running on a budget But thanks here. for the pads. But anyways, love Peace you guys. Out. Love you guys. Less communication is more. Let's say one of your kids comes home with a great test score, and they say, "Mom, Dad, look what I look what I did on this test right here. Uh, it's great. I got a hundred and five uh, with the extra credit points because you can do that nowadays, and you know whatever." So they say that, and you say. See, wasn't that effective? Because your silence actually equals out to him working harder to win your approval. Next time, I wouldn't even be surprised if they came in with 109 on that test, okay? So, I really want to encourage you guys to communicate less with your kids. Are you done? Yeah, we're, we're recording still. I'm done. Um, another thing I didn't like and what it suggests is making your kids eat everything on their plate. Um, what if they're full? Give them smaller portions. 
Um, um, I mean, you did pretty good with the portion thing, except for like when it was peas. Because I don't really like peas. I like them now, but let me like, let my taste buds mature on their own time, you know? Yeah. Let their taste buds just mature on their own time. That's what I always say. In all seriousness, we love you guys.